Hi guys, my name is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. I have an antique booth green onion vintage and in addition to shopping around for stuff to sell in my booth, I love to just go vintage shopping in general. It's probably why I got into having an antique booth in the first place. I truly love vintage decor and if you like vintage Christmas, you are absolutely going to enjoy this tour today through the purple ottoman. The Purple Ottoman is owned by a woman named Brandy, and she's super kind to let me record. This is the second time I've done her shop before, and uh, when I say that she has the most vintage Christmas I've ever seen in one spot, I am not exaggerating in any way. I feel like a lot of shops nowadays, they have to mix in like some reproductions of old things to kind of beef up their store, but Brandy has figured out some way to completely fill her store top to bottom with true vintage Christmas. It was unreal. I've never seen anything like it. So you are going to fully enjoy this tour, um, especially if you see some things maybe from your childhood in here that are going to take you back because there are so many things to see. So I'm going to try to go pretty slowly through the store because there's a lot to take in. Um, I was here looking particularly for some small Santa mugs because I had seen some in her pictures on Facebook. She's also really active on Instagram, so I'm going to make sure I have all of the Purple Ottomans contact info down in the description box below. Um, I know she also has an Etsy site, but I haven't checked it lately, but I will link that as well. And if you want to order something from her, I didn't work out those details with her, but you are welcome to message her and she'll give you a quick yes or no if that is something that she could do for you. Um, right now, I'm just kind of in the front room of her shop. And as I was watching this video back and editing it, I was seeing so many other things that I wish I would have just grabbed. Uh, I feel like for resale purposes, this isn't somewhere I shop to find things that I can make a profit on. I mean, she's priced in the same range that I would be but I am really searching here just for things for my own home, um, really unique collectibles that you don't see everywhere. And so I was on the hunt for something that I would probably like to keep. I don't do a lot of antique shopping for myself anymore. That's not to say I don't keep a lot of things that I buy, but in general, I'm typically out thrifting for things that I can resell. But today I was purely shopping for enjoyment and to look at her beautiful vignettes and just how she's layered so many things together but it doesn't look cluttered at the same time I know that's really hard to do um, as someone who has my own booth it's hard to have a lot of inventory without it just being completely overwhelming or just cluttered uh, but she has figured out a way to present everything in a way that seems manageable and just really enjoyable to look through Look at her amazing collection right here of antique glass ornaments. I don't think I've ever seen so many in one spot. I think about on average, like the that small size box right there was about $24. Um, it was less for those really tiny ones, which I was so tempted to buy. I think those would be so fun to use. Um, but I would honestly have a hard time even taking them out of their box. I would probably just use them as like a shelf sitter and leave them in their box. That's probably the safest way, especially in a house of three little boys, for me to display those. But I just loved looking through those. I love the old fashioned colors of these glass ornaments. Look at that. They have a really just authentic crackle to them. I could not believe how many of these she had. Um, but those were such a fun thing to look through. And I'm not even to the best part of the store yet, guys.
So if you also have an antique booth like I do, I just kind of want to re-emphasize why I think that the Purple Ottoman store is so easy to shop and not completely overwhelming. I think she does a great job of creating themed vignettes. So even just like this one shelf in the store right here has most of her vintage snowmen all in one place. And I think that is so helpful for shoppers, especially if they are coming in with like a certain thing in mind. Then they can go to one part of the store and look through similar items to what they were thinking about shopping for instead of having to hunt through the whole store. I think there is a great aspect of antique shopping where you are on the hunt, but when you have so much inventory, you really have to be careful with how you're playing, how you're placing everything. And I just want to say I love that snowman right there, and you know that it is truly antique when it has something like a cigar in its mouth because they don't really make decor like that nowadays, and I loved that. Um, so here's my favorite part of the store. This Santa section was so beautiful, so festive, and there's just so much to look at right here. So I really slow down right here and take you through kind of each little section because there is so much to see, but I just thought this was such a fun part of the store. I love all the red and white and green together. She really does a great job of mixing in the old wood and the antiques. I just appreciate these old, unique pieces of decor so much more than the ones that are made new right now. I mean, if you're going to go to Hobby Lobby and buy your Christmas decor, that's fine to an extent. But to come into a place like this, a small business, where she's really taken the time to curate a wonderful collection of antiques, I think that is the best way to shop. And these are the absolute most fun things for me to buy and to look through and to go on that antique hunt and then just find that one piece or several pieces that make you smile. And especially Christmas decor where you're gonna pull it out year after year. I just think this is the way to go. Go find something that actually has some meaning and some history and something that you truly enjoy and that no one else is probably going to have that when you go over to their house. I think that's just the best. So I want to let you guys look through the Santa section now because it was just so fun. Please don't overlook that amazing pink tree over there in the corner. It has these awesome vintage Santa dolls just kind of placed in there. I love that idea. Um, I thought that was such a cool thing to do. And then, um, of course, the bottle brush trees are still very popular right now. They definitely make it a comeback. And I know it's probably here to stay at least through next year as well. So that's something I'm going to be looking for once um, some craft stores go to Clarence for their Christmas um, definitely keeping an eye out for bottle brushes because I have some other ideas for those for next year and I really didn't use them at all this year. I loved this big tub full of these vintage ornaments. I thought that was beautiful. Um, and then using that coffee cup holder for those uh, tree toppers. thought that was a great idea also. Um, I mean, just look at that tree. It's so fun. She had so many Santa dolls and I just love how each face is really unique and different. So those are really fun to look through. And then uh, also strewn in that you might not notice so much is some linen. So she also had a good collection of blankets, but they're just kind of throughout the store. And I think that's a great idea. Also just sticking in tablecloths, table runners, napkins, stockings. It's always a good thing to do to really cozy up your booth space.
Now I'm back up into the front of the store. Look at that big Santa head. I thought that was so cute. I think it was just under $100. I loved him though. He was one of my favorite things I saw today. Um, she has this old, what would this have been? Like a tool organizer. Oh gosh, like nuts and bolts and stuff. It even says there like from old hardware store. She has all this filled with antique Christmas. I loved that idea. Um, and then just more and more. The front shelves were stocked full to the brim with vintage Christmas. I still can't get over it and I'm probably going to watch this video back a few times. Like I said earlier, I'm still kicking myself for not buying some of the things that I'm seeing in this video. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll have to message her and see, but um, I just loved so much of what I saw in this store and I'm so glad that I got out on this rainy day to come check it out because it was well worth it. What a fun shopping experience. This shop has some of the absolute best antique canisters also. I don't know if you've noticed them throughout the shop, but they haven't all been Christmas, but they just have the best patina and color on them. And I remember when I shopped in her store last time that there were even more out. So if that's something that you really like to collect, I would definitely keep an eye on her shop and even online and see what she posts on Instagram because she has some of the best tins. And I don't want to spoil what I ended up purchasing, but... If you do want to see my antique haul from everything I bought here at the Purple Ottoman, you should definitely subscribe to my channel so that you can check out. That'll be my next video. I also have some estate sale stuff to share with you in my next video too, so I'll do that all together. Um, that basket right there of those Santa dolls is another one of my favorite things in the shop. I thought those were so cool. Look at all the character that they have. What a fun way to display them. I mean, if you actually had that many in your house, I think just in a basket like that is so great. I really, really loved those. Um, I'm going to let you guys shop through for about another minute, but I am going to let you go. I hope that you enjoyed looking through the store today. Let me know down in the comments below if you recognize anything that you used to have in your home, maybe growing up. I would love to hear that. I appreciate you spending time with me today. And if you don't watch another video before Christmas, I hope that you and your family have a very Merry Christmas. We are wrapping things up for Christmas this week and just really excited to celebrate the season together. So I appreciate you guys being here once again. I will see you next time. Bye.